Yeah, never forget where you're coming from. King Shanga set the trend. Yo, I want to Mama. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Hello, I'm Brad. You've done for life. Yes, guys, so um, it's early morning. It's um, 7 o'clock in the morning. We've been on the road since 6 o'clock this morning, making our way to Kingston. Yes, so um, going to Kingston Wharf to pick up a barrel. Now, you guys know my two experiences of going to pick up barrels, right? The first one, I've got the link to the video in the description. When I went to Montego Bay, disaster, as, as many of you know. To pick up my barrel, Montego Bay was a disaster. That was the first time I ever did it. The second time I went to Kingston, it was a bit better, but it was an all-day thing. So I'm going back to Kingston to pick up another barrel. Yeah, what you say, Outlaw? Good move. <laughs> Good move. Yeah. So back to Kingston. But guys, this time I came prepared, right? So now I know it's an all-day thing. The first thing I did was to book the earliest appointment they had. So the wolf opens at 8 o'clock. My appointment is at 8 o'clock. So hopefully I can go in. I don't know about in and out, but I, you know, I'm trying to not do it all day. But just in case, guys, I've come prepared, right? Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Honestly, and even even a book, yeah, even a book. So I'm prepared, guys. If it's all day, I'm prepared. Yeah. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you back in a few. Come on, right the You know what thing Round the swing So hold on. While oh yeah. So guys, if you don't know, only the person collecting the barrel can go inside the office. So outlaw, if I'm in there all day, what are you gonna be doing outside? Sleeping in the car. Can you hear that? Say it again. <laughs> Sleeping in the car. Sleep, yeah. We woke up early, didn't we? Mm. Woke up early and sleep was kind of up and down, so yeah. Alright guys, um, of course when I get into the wharf, um, I'll try and video as much as I can so you guys can see the process and everything like that, okay? Um, yeah. Alright, catch up with you again. This guy's over here, I don't know if you can see it. Kingston Wolves Limited, yeah. Mr. Outlaw. So I'm gonna go in here first, first stop. Yeah. So yes guys, my appointment was at eight o'clock. I got here about ten past eight. And um my building, I think it's Jamaica Trading at the Total Logistics Facility. I think that's where most people come. So yeah, um managed to get in straight away. When you get to the building, you've got to show your ID because they let you in. So yes. All right, guys, so I've just finished the first part of the process. So I went to Jamaica Trading Services. They're the people who deal with the barrel at the Jamaica end. And I've just paid a charge of $5,900. That's the first charge I've paid. I'm going to show you. And that's the first part. So this is what I had to pay. So I paid $5,900, right? That's the first charge. And this was for wolf stripping and PDC handling, agency fees, and C86 form. And this was the amount: two thousand six hundred forty-nine fifty for the wharfage, stripping, and PDC; two thousand two hundred eighty for the handling, um, agency fee six hundred and seventy, and C eight six form two hundred and plus GCT. Yeah. So that's the first charge I had to pay. So, yeah. Okay, so now I have to go here to the main entrance. The last time I came, well, it was in the height of the pandemic. All about here was queue. All about here, but now. It's a main entrance now to the next part. Finished the first process as you would have seen. Second process um, in the main entrance, I had to pay a wharfing fee, which was five thousand five hundred and thirty-two. So that's the second payment I've made: five thousand five hundred and thirty-two for wharfing fees. The second fee: five thousand five hundred and thirty-two, and this is a wharfing fee, right? Um, household items. And uh, the last part, just before I collect the barrel, custom fee. Was six thousand five hundred. Like everything's gone up since the last time I was here. So let me show you guys. The customs fee. This is the last payment I had to make. There's all the different bits. 
So you have to pay for into six thousand five hundred. So that includes import, customs duty, environmental leave, um, leave, customs administration fee, general consumption tax, stamp duty, standard compliance fee. A lot in there. Six thousand five hundred. Alright guys, so I'm on the final part of the process, right? So I've got my gate pass, so which means I'm free to go and actually put the barrel in the Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna go and pick up the um pick up the barrel now. Like put it in the car. Okay, so while I'm just waiting for uh, a space at the loading bay to get the barrel, um, I'll let you guys know it's one o'clock now. Um, I got here, I start the process at about 8.30. By the time we got here and you know, went to the office about 8.30. So now it's one o'clock in the afternoon. And you know what? It's not too bad. It's not too bad, is it? Like, usually it's all day. Usually I'm out of here until like seven, five, six, seven. Um, so one o'clock in the afternoon is not too bad. I mean, the first part of the um, process is easy. When you go in and you go to the office, um, the first part is very easy when you pay your first set of fees. The second part of the process, um, when you pay the wool fees, very quick, very easy, no queuing. But you see, the last part, when you have to go into the loading bay, that part there, that took about two hours waiting. Yeah, two hours or more of waiting. So that part, the last part, waiting to get your barrel, for a customs officer to check huh? it and all of that, that's the part that takes a long time. So, but yeah, we're gonna pick up the barrel, we'll like literally put it in the car now, and yeah, okay. all good. Yeah, so we're just waiting for someone to bring the barrel so we can put it in the car now. Yeah. It is, it is hot today, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. guys it's the next day I've just emptied out the barrel and I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've got so you see all of these things on the counter here and also all the stuff on the chair there so this is for another family member but it all came down in the same barrel and guys also I must let you know that I am um, also brought a suitcase a, a, like an extra suitcase full of stuff as well so some of the stuff I've already got so um, I've just got things like but they're bubble wrap, we can't really see them. Like mayonnaise, salad cream, ketchup, the little noodles, pasta, corn. So, a lot of tin things, coconut milk. This is like sardine, mackerel, bathing soap, um, little seasonings, big bag of rice. These are oil, they're wrapped up. Um, like pepper, evaporated milk, beans, tuna here, pasta, sweet chili sauce. Lick, washing up liquid, um, shower gel, um, foil, cling film, freezer bags, uh, what else? <laughs> Coffee, yeah, to name a few. Um, like paracetamol, these little Stenix roll ons. In my suitcase, I, I put loads of shower gel, toothpaste, um, toilet tissue, loads of stuff in the suitcase as well. So, this is what the barrel held. So, everything you see there everything you see there oh here as well lots of flour all pub, um plain flour self-raising flour toothbrushes all the usual dettol as well i have a tin good salt all kind of things yeah cornmeal there so this guys just the idea of some of the things that are put in the barrel So you've seen me go to the wharf to collect my barrel. You've seen the things that are in my barrel. Now let's talk about is sending a barrel even worth it? So I know there are some people who are, have been sending barrels for years and years and years and they, you know, they swear by sending barrels because it's a, you know, money saver for them and it makes more financial sense. For some people, they don't see the point in sending a barrel because they think, you know, by the time you, you um, calculate the cost of buying the barrel, uh, sending the barrel, clearing the barrel at the wharf, or having it delivered to your home, um, buying the things to fill the barrel with, you might as well just buy the stuff out here in Jamaica, right? So um, let me do some numbers and um, let me tell you why it works for me, why it's cost effective for me to do a barrel. So this is what I spent um, filling and you know clearing my barrel, 
um, and sending the barrel. So I already had the barrel um, in the UK. It was a barrel I had for like over a year, over a year. So I didn't spend any money buying the barrel. And actually, buying the barrel is maybe about fifty pounds. You know, you can shop around. If you don't want to get them from the shipping agencies, you can always always go on eBay or Amazon, or you know, there are people selling um, secondhand barrels. So barrel is fairly affordable to obtain so like i said i already had a barrel so i didn't have to spend any money on purchasing a barrel um to fill my barrel cost between 150 between 150 pound and 200 pound at the most um i had a figure of 150 pounds but as you see there was some extra stuff in there um for family members um so about 200 pounds in total to fill the barrel um cost to ship the barrel so the shipping agency in the UK uh, charged me 65 pound to ship the barrel um, and to clear the barrel now usually to clear my barrel it's usually about 60 pounds to clear my barrel 60 65 pound this time it was a hundred pound now I don't know if just because if that's because the cost of everything's just gone up but you know I put it down to that everything's gone up right so 200 pounds to fill my barrel 150 to 200 pounds to fill my barrel 65 pounds to ship the barrel and about 100 pounds to clear the barrel that's uh, a total of 365 pounds um, which is equivalent to roughly th uh, 63,875 Jamaican dollars to fill the barrel buy this and to fill the barrel ship the barrel and to clear the barrel 365 pound which is about just under 64,000 Jamaican dollars so is that worth it could I just take that 64,000 Jamaican dollars and just buy the things out here I could buy those things out here but would that last me the amount of time now usually when I send a barrel down it's usually the things that you see that I've showed right so it's, it's usually always food and household items things that we use on a daily basis so a lot of tin goods um, you know shower gels and bathing soaps and toothpaste and all the practical things that we use every single day uh, rice and um, you know a lot of other uh, tin goods as well yeah so for me it's worth it because um, you may have seen in, in a previous video um, called cost of living in 2022 our average um, food grocery bill essential items bill for the month is roughly 60,000 Jamaican dollars a month okay now if this the items in my barrel and the cost to ship and clear and everything come to just under $64,000 it's a no-brainer for me so I worked it out um my barrels or the things in my barrels usually last us about three to four months okay so if we divide that sixty four thousand dollars that i've paid in total to fill the barrel ship the barrel clear the barrel sixty four thousand or sixty three eight seven five to be precise if i divide that by three months that's about just over twenty one thousand dollars a month um and if i divide it by four months that's just over um fifteen thousand dollars a month now guys let me tell you something if i took sixty four thousand jamaican dollars today 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 and bought went to the supermarket or went to you know the wholesale went wherever and bought all the things that i had or tried to buy i'm telling you i wouldn't have, i would not get all the things that i've got um i wouldn't if i bought all of the things that i shipped in the barrel if i bought them over here um it, it i guarantee it wouldn't be sixty four thousand dollars it would be more um so and i'm just gonna give you a very few examples right what i've noticed is simple things like toothpaste colgate toothpaste in jamaica the colgate toothpaste for the big one is probably 400 something dollars some places 500 dollars right um in england they're a pound okay so you i can buy three tubes of two three boxes of toothpaste um for one toothpaste in Jamaica that makes sense right so what it cost me to get three boxes of toothpaste in the UK it cost me the same to get one box of toothpaste out here so for me it makes sense to bring those things over um, another example is just a simple bathing soap right um, we usually get them in the pack of four in the UK you can get them for like one pound something in the UK pack of four bathing soaps um, over here in Jamaica, they tend to be sold singly, 
singularly singly yeah a single bars um and i also worked out that what we pay for a single bar of soap in jamaica obviously depends on the brand but what you pay for a single bar of soap in jamaica you can get a pack of four soaps in the uk so it's really simple things like that right so um you'd see my barrel there are no clothes in my barrel it's really just food items household essential items and things we use every day and i tell you i love when my barrel comes because honestly it really does cut down on the amount we spend out here um so it works for us and i'm aware that it may not work for everybody depending on what you put in the barrel um but yeah and you know it's everybody's choice right but for us it works and guys if i could do a barrel four times for the year if i could send a barrel four times for the year that would be great for me and i think actually that's what i'm going to try to move towards sending a barrel four times a year would be great for us because it just cuts down the cost um of spending for these things and it's yeah for us it really is a big 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 saver by sending the barrel so like i said it's not for everybody but it definitely works for us um i also try to take advantage when i'm coming back to, the, to coming back from the uk to jamaica i also try to take advantage um of like suitcase allowances and stuff like that so when i travel to the uk i really don't bring much clothes usually the climate doesn't usually the climate doesn't allow for that so i kind of go with my suitcase half empty so i can like pack loads of stuff back to bring back and i always um book an extra suitcase as well um yeah book an extra suitcase as well I pay for an extra suitcase um and i i fill that up with like i just fill it up with loads of stuff of course you might have to think about what's the price of the suitcase i mean i don't pay much from for an extra suitcase i pay about 15 pounds it's just the way that i travel um and i fill it up like i fill it up with all the things i know i'm going to need so yeah hope hopefully this may be helpful for some of you um i know some of you out there are like like me barrels all the way um some of you are like no i, I can't be bothered i'd rather just buy the things out there and like i said it works differently for everybody so yes guys i'm going to wrap this video up so that was my experience my much better experience of going to kingston wolf to clear the barrel uh, so yeah i hope it's this video has been useful i hope you've enjoyed it uh please like comment share subscribe and until the next time that was it this one has got to be now 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 mr cruz if it's money, we don't talk about it, cause we don't brag about it. House on the hill, that's how we go about it.